In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my kayak to take fast and accurate catch submission photos. And then we do a dry run. It's coming up, stay tuned. Hey, it's Robin, welcome back. It's great to have you here if it's your first time. If you wanna become a better angler and catch more fish, consider subscribing. Click the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Welcome to part three of our four part series, kayak fishing tournament tips for first timers. If you haven't signed up for Training X yet, go check out part one of this series. I'll put a YouTube card for it here. If you have signed up but don't have all your gear yet, then go check out part two. I'll put a YouTube card right there. The links are also in the description below. All right, so we're here at Mission Bay, and before I show you how to set up your space, uh, we need to put our number into our identifier card. It's gonna be RCV1, okay? Roman Castle Vlog 1. That's gonna be your code for this uh, tutorial. So our number's on there, and I'll put it back in the hog trough. All right, now we're ready to move on to the next step. For this next step, I'm gonna show you how I have the stuff laid out on the kayak to make it easier for me to deal with the fish once I get it on the deck. Okay, so for starters, let me tell you where everything is. So my hog trough is here, it's ready to go. I have it with the, with the lip up to the top and I put it under my seat. Okay. All the way under my seat, the deck is clear. The other thing I do have to worry about is my phone. My phone is what I'm using now to monitor this video, but let's see, so I have it in the I have it in the Thule waterproof case, so I can drop, drop it in the water, it's not gonna be an issue. Here is what it looks like when I'm recording. Uh, <laughs> so what I do is I have my phone in this pocket here. Again, it's waterproof, so if it gets splashed, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, so here's where, where I have it, and that's how uh, I roll. See if I catch them, see if I catch them, oh, see if I catch them from shore. So, and I usually keep my paddle on my lap. So I'm gonna put my feet in the kayak, and let's see how it, how it goes. All right, so here's what, here's what it looks like when you're on the water. Fishing, you're fishing, you're fishing, you're fishing, and then boom, you hook into a big one, right? You got a big fish, you bring it into the boat. So you bring it in, you land your fish, and you're gonna have a crazy fish on the line, and you need to get your rod and reel out of the way. So what I do is I stick it under my seat inside my leg so it doesn't fall out and it still kind of gives me some space here on the deck, right? You want to have a clear deck. And now you have the fish on the hook to deal with, right? So you, you get the fish, you lip it with your left hand, okay? So at this point, let's pretend that I have a fish in my hand. So I gotta lip it and I pull the hook out hooks out you can drop your line on your deck for now out of the way out of this space and now you're now your left hand is gonna be busy the whole time you can't use your left hand anymore okay so one-handed thing for me from here on out it's one-handed you reach under your seat or wherever you stored your hog trough make sure you store it in a place you can reach with your, with your right hand easily without twisting and turning just grab it and then you're gonna position I usually take one foot out of the kayak like this and I position the hog trough so that it's facing, always you gotta take a picture with the fish facing to the left. So I position my hog trough this way. So it's, so it's at an angle. See how it's declining? That way if the fish slides, it slides towards the, towards the front. This is where you want it anyway, okay? Like that. And then, now that that's in place, your left hand is still busy because you're still holding the fish. You, I apply my lanyard policy. I stick my hand to my lanyard pull out my phone and unlock it with my thumb and go into photos make sure the photos are working it's going I put my finger on the makes my thumb to press the volume button so it takes it uses it as, as a shutter then you lay down the fish gonna go crazy maybe and then you kind of put your hand on it don't block it's oh here you go I lay down the fish I put it right there don't block its face it's touching it's touching the trough also don't block its tail so you get it in the picture and make sure it's flat and its tails not pinched it's got to be a little bit fanned out and its mouth has to be closed and it's got to be up against the, the up against the plate you hold it in place there 
you hold your phone you hold your phone parallel to the to the to the boat and high enough so that you can get the the fish the whole fish the whole trough and the identifier card in the same picture and also the background's going to be your boat so let's see see that one was too short so in this case since my hog trough is so long i'm going to do it up here okay see what i got there we go and now i have an idea of how high i have to hold it so i can see the whole trough um about this high i'm not sure if it's even in the camera about this high for me it's about above my head which means i don't know what's, what's going on so make sure you check your pictures okay i get the picture i double check it and then if it's good i go ahead and lock my phone okay, at this point i can release the fish release the fish now i have a free hand get my phone back in my in my, in my pocket take my hog trough put it back under my seat or wherever you decide to store it that's out of the way and now you can get back to to fishing it's up to you to, it's up to you to submit your fish now or keep fishing that spot because you're probably getting bites so wait for a lull in the bites before you submit your fish that's what i would recommend so you don't miss any fish that are in that in that area because usually like especially with spotties like to like bunch up so that's the dry run of catching and photographing a fish for the submission after i take the pictures and before i submit it to the tourney app i go through the pictures and look for the clearest one in this case I think I'm going to go with that one. So what I do is I favorite it. And then I go to the Tourney X app. The app opens. I go to submit catch. I choose the current tournament I'm on. It's still grayed out because it's not active yet. But once it's, once it's active, then you click on it. It's going to pop open. It's going to ask if you want to take a picture or if you want to use a picture from your library. You choose a photo that we favorited earlier, and then you tell it that it's 12 and a, like for example, this one, it's 12 and a half. Once the judges get the picture, they'll look at the picture to make sure the mouth is touching the front of the hog trough. They make sure the tail is not pinched, like that's fan, like semi fan, fanned out, not super fanned out, but also not pinched. And then you could also see your identifier, and your identifier would have the code of the tournament you're on. And you should be able to tell in the background that you're actually on a kayak, right? And so this is kind of a good shot because it has a kayak and water. So there you go. In part four, we get on the water and do this with a real fish. I'll also share some last minute advice before your first tournament. I'll put part four in the YouTube card right there. If you want to become a better angler and catch more fish, consider subscribing. Click on the round icon right here. You'll subscribe and I'll continue to share tips and insights to help you catch more fish. I'll see you in part four. Woo!